eyes. I'm sorry. I can't. Buy, I thought I could get some glasses till I get my new ones. No, it's okay. You're good. And that's why I like to come, Craig, and make sure we're talking about the right person here, because no, rep sorry. reputation is a big thing around here. And that's why I, I am the Cheshire Cat, also known as Phoenix, also known as Patrick Glenn Finnegan on Facebook, my Matrix name, right? I go to court and I fight under Patrick Glenn Finnegan, my straw man. So what I do, my dear, is I travel around trying to help these dirty kids learn how to be better to the, themselves and to each other. You know, it's um, funny because our church, we um, go downtown. We um, got enough funds to build a building. We go down there and put the women that are down there against their will doing trafficking. We mm. take them in and we rehabilitate them. My love. What was your name, your angel? My name is Helen Shraw. I'm on Facebook also. Helen what? Shraw. S-H-R-A-W? S-C-H. S-C-H-R-A-H. Miss Helen, H-E-L-E-N? S C H R E H. I got you. And we got to see right now what I do is I'm trying to teach these dirty kids how to protect themselves because we're cop watchers, right? We're watching the cops, we're watching out for each other. Our reputations are important, right? When we're doing business. So check it out. What I have right here is I have a program that runs in the background called AZ Screen Recorder. And at any moment, I can pull this little tiny button. When It's actually recording right now because I press the little button so the button disappears. We're not recording, there's a little button up here. So if I press it, a little menu pops up and I can hit record. It gives me a three, two, one, and then it starts recording everything on my phone. The, the, the volume that's coming in through the speaker, I can go back here so I can tell. I was the camera on, so it was seeing everything. Now that's it's not. My girlfriend see, now it's not me seeing. Do, and I walked into the manager. Now said, it's just getting the audio. <laughs> my lady, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of music in the background. We can sit here and philosophize, but I can you know, help you. Number, uh, we kind of lost a couple outfits I bought him the other day. Okay. I went into an attack. I'm trying to get into. Um, Vascular surgery. Now. Now you said you recently you recently had a stroke. Uh, well, you're awfully you're awfully mobile and vertical and still talking and coherent for having a stroke. So way to walk that shit off. Sometimes yeah, I just totally. I talk a lot, but I yeah. put some teeth in. I was gonna so say your your teeth are looking so fresh and so clean, clean. Well, you got some new dentures or half? No, actually, those are old ones. All right. Well, we're gonna get like you them. we're gonna get you, to we're gonna get you some new choppers. We're gonna get you some new choppers because. I, I recently saved my second ex-wife life from mercury poisoning. They put 16 silver mercury fillings in her well, teeth. I won't put those in mm -hmm. I they, not, From so the I've age of... No calcium in my teeth for away. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was a kid. And that's because no one's getting the proper nutrition. Everyone's, everyone out here has got scurvy, right? I see all these fucking kids just dying out here because they don't eat enough oranges. And, you know, people not taking care of their teeth because their bodies all day. There's, a, there's definitely a connection between dental health and physical health. Oh, yeah. We're talking about that cardiovascular, especially the, the men with heart disease, all have jacked up teeth. Yeah, I had a husband died no five from that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just posted a thing uh, Joel, uh, Olsen, about how you fast and clean your mind. Just like you're talking about mm -hmm. eating the right food. Well, he right. talks about how you clean your mind and go on a fast. No, don't not talk about not eating. And it was so mm -hmm. interesting last night. You're See, absolutely. Yeah, twin brothers, you're... Matt and Mike, but one is actually an ordained minister. And he's out in Breckenridge, and I can't remember the name of it. We're doing a couple of years. Tell about Pastor Rick? Uh, no, uh, he's out up there in the mountains, and he's got people following him, trying to teach people how to live off the land. I need to go I meet. I need, to, I need to go connect with this man, because I've been in Breckenridge. My truck is broken down in, uh, in Como right now. I'm about my to go. I, my brother Mike's up there, Mike Southern. Mike he goes Southern? Under, he goes under Mikey Miguel. That's our maiden name. What is it, Mikey? Yeah, he's usually under Mikey Miguel. Or, Miguel? Uh, um, yeah, or Mike Maxwell. He's, yeah, Mike he's Maxwell. Um, in my um, Facebook. Your Facebook? All right, perfect. I just perfect. Heard, oh, the people on my Facebook are all, it's like a religious. And you see, what I like, what I like, what's going on here is that I'm recording, I'm about to upload this video to YouTube and then post it on my Facebook because it's recording in the background. But right now I can go to my Facebook and I can search for you so that way everyone can see. Look, you just got to look up. We gotta look up H E L E N, and that was S C H E R R A H. How do you pronounce that? Shra? Yeah. That's, I think I that's I that's an ancient that. Egyptian, like pharaoh shit or something. Shra? Uh, I don't know. He's been dead since so far. Miss Helen Shra, Edgewater, Colorado. Yeah. All right, Miss Helen Shra. I'm gonna follow you. God is good. I like that. We're gonna see first. And we're in a message. Four years and God has brought me back. I mean, we to. You are here to help me along my way, my love. I am the reincarnation of Jesus Christ. I, I turn the other cheek. I, 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 I let these kids steal from me after I feed them all night. Right? And we just keep turning. What's this right here? Is that? Uh, something 
then I said I had a heart and it crossed through it when I was heart younger. I had it. kids too, so I could get a paid for biking out my mom's supporters. I love the wings because I, I actually just met a beautiful tattoo artist. I wish artist. I could get somebody to do it right, but they tried in Albuquerque and I ended up in the hospital once got that gangrene in my arm. All right. I, I'm scared I need to my, my upper, my my brother, my father, Jason, I met him in the county justice system. Last time I was uh, locked up in Summit County, he was the pod father helping everybody take care of their shit, right? He just did a beautiful cover-up tattoo on his wife's arm at the dining room table at her mom's house, right? So, yeah. We will do that for you. We'll this is against the law. I don't really want to, but no. he was in prison. He put my name on there. there I bought him a wedding band. This is, this is ancient tribal shit that goes back a long time about wearing your right colors. See, that's why the reason I fly colors for everybody, right? Look, I got blue. And red on my left, and I got blue and red on my right. I got blue, blue and red in back. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you know what I do? I instantly identify with everybody. And I, fly, and I say, my brethren, my sisters, I come to you in peace. I fly a flag for everyone. So the Bloods and the Crips used to be one team, one army 